Hey guys, welcome back. This is Dominic with Silver Screening Reviews, and if you can't tell by the title card, we are in the Wolf Among Us Episode 5, Cry Wolf. So I'm gonna go ahead and let it get started. It hasn't done any loading or anything like that yet. So final episode in um, Season 1, if it turns out to be, you know, a multi-season type thing. But uh, very, very excited, especially after In Sheep's Closing. I mean, oh, your eyes that was a quick load. and the teeth. You're not really supposed to do that, are you? I can avoid it. No. Holly's sister, Lily. Do you even give a shit about us, the strays? That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? We're destroying the tree. No! We're not burning the tree, Snow. Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? I don't know. Snow will come around. She's just... You know, the crane thing hit her hard, and she doesn't really know who her friends are right now. no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Big B, wait. When you get the crooked man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. As you could tell, that was um, kind of, I think, all the major decisions that I've made on this loading, or this same file, sorry, of uh, The Wolf Among Us. Some major decisions. Oh, I like that they, they have the direction. This seems a little different. I can't tell. Maybe I just can't remember. It seems just a little off the, the other intro, but I'm doubting it is. Just maybe I haven't seen it in a little bit. But uh, yeah, so you saw all the major decisions I did. Um, especially there was the latter couple ones. Killing the, uh, the Tweedle brother. Saving the tree for the witch. Going and sitting down when I was with uh, the Crooked Man. Things of that nature. And now it looks like we'll be wrapping up a few of those conclusions today. Which will be quite nice. Episode 5, Cry Wolf. You've come a long way. You must be tired. Crooked Man's Lair. Night. And if my envoys are correct, you haven't had a lot of rest recently. Your gun don't scare me, jackass. I've already been shot like earlier hey, today. Sheriff, relax for a moment. Do you want a drink? Something to eat? Vivian makes a very nice, very... It's elegant. Really a carpaccio. It's lobster. Sirloin. Uh... Well, promise me. Take a this. seat at the very least. Don't misunderstand the situation here. We are not friends. You're in no position to offer me anything. On the contrary, Sheriff. And I don't wish to contradict you here. But your initiative and mine have been friendly for a long while now. Ever since I came aboard these shores, you know, Fable Town's been very accommodating of my humble ventures. Never said a bad word. And that relationship's worked till these ends. Yeah? Well, you can forget all that. It's over with. What do you think you're doing? He's gonna. Mr. Wolf is our guest, and I have every intention of cooperating. 
Damn right. So don't Fuck off, dude. Silver. Jersey sit Devil, down, no Jersey. one wants your shit. So sit well, the Sheriff, fuck down. For the sake of transparency, why don't you tell us why you're here? It would help settle everyone's nerves, I think. Hmm. This. You're destroying this town. You've been doing it for ages. Destroying this town? What on earth do you mean? What the hell do you think I mean? Slavery? Kidnapping? Extortion? Murder? What would you call the wholesale corruption of Fabled Town? I would call it the baseless accusation of a desperate sheriff. Ooh. How this isn't some conspiracy against me? I'm a well-connected man. Well-moneyed. People do like to take their shots at me. Shut Don't up, try to play me. It won't work. I'm not trying to control you. I have no need for treachery, Bigby. I do everything right out in the open. But I can understand the confusion. And I'm truly sorry about the trouble all this has caused you. And I hope you believe me when I say, Sheriff, that I sincerely mean to make it up to you. The recent murders that have gotten such attention as of late, I don't relish telling you that they were perpetrated by an employee of mine. It's a very unfortunate bit of business, but I promise you that the matter will be dealt with internally. I just want to settle the issue for you and to assure you that it's... I have over. no idea who did it. You really don't need to worry yourself further. An unfortunate bit of business. You're gonna tell me right now who killed him. Sheriff, I have complete respect for you and your job. I hope you know that. But I simply can't divulge that information. Hmm. You really shouldn't worry yourself. As I said, I've got this under control. No, I'm gonna deal with it right now. Yeah, right. What do you think this is? Some kind of negotiation? The man said he'd take care of it. So why don't you take the hint and get out? I'm already pissed off. You don't want to make it worse. Oh, I think I do. I'd love a good reason to put a bullet between your eyes after what you did. That's enough. I was hoping it wouldn't come to this, but in the interest of preserving our alliance. Alliance? Have to know, it was Georgie. However, like I said, I'd be handling the matter if you don't mind. Georgie, you got what you wanted. So I don't just believe that. Sit down now. Dude. Not so much the eye, but your tenor freaks me right the fuck yeah, out, frickin' man. I killed him, so what? No. You should have just kept your nose where it fucking belonged. I don't Why'd I don't believe do that it? he did it. Why kill them? Looks like another red herring. Does it matter? Look, the fact is, George here misinterpreted one of my instructions. Misinterpreted? And I want to make things right. So let's work something out. What's there to work out? I'm protected, aren't I? Your protection has limits, and I think you've far exceeded yours. But you could murder someone in cold blood like that. You fucking asked me to do this! And then you attempt me to, to kill blame him. me for it. You will be silent while we discuss what to do with you. Oh. This is right, bollocks, sis. You're just gonna let him do this? Damn right they are. They're fucking pansies. So what do you say, Sheriff? Can we discuss terms? You can have Georgie. Consider it a gift, ensuring our continued cooperation. What the hell? All right, let's talk. Shit, I should have left. You can't just talking. hand me over. What the fuck is this shit? You said you'd cover for us. For minor infractions, not murder. Just go with him, Georgie. You're gonna sink us all. What's wrong with you people? You're really gonna sell him out just like you that? You think I'd give a fuck if I'm the one? Who the shit do you think you fuck us around? Get the fuck out of I here. I do apologize, Sheriff. But I think it's best if you leave now. There's no way I'm going with him. Are you kidding me? Things are about to get unpleasant, and I would rather you weren't here to watch. You can go join that whore at the bottom of the lake for all I give a shit, but he's not taking me anywhere. Huh. I'll roll over on the lot of you before I let that shit happen. No. Out. What are you saying? Yeah, what the fuck? You uh, make shit. Sure all um, go down this uh, shit. Uh, with you. I told you. This. Get the fuck away from me. He's the one you fucking want. This could have gone so well. But you just had to complicate things. 
Is he talking to me or Georgie? He's never been a very good mediator. Why negotiate when you can just decide? Oh, God damn it. <laughs> Did I miss anything good? Well, look at you all fixed up. Oh, God damn it. This ain't gonna end well for fucking, uh... Shit. Uh, okay. We've started off with a fucking bang, guys. Over here. Shit. Fuck you. Oh! Uh, You're done, Wolf. Come on. We're pretty much done here. We're gonna go after the dude with the knife. Oh, shit. It didn't matter anyways. I'd like to say it was nice knowing you, but I'll be glad to see your inside shit. turned out. God, frame- Oh, shit! Smooth! Frame rate issues are kind of popping in and out. Oh, God, I'm fucking murdering everybody. Uh, it's probably best if you all go. Oh, why not? We've already taken off one horn, right? Okay. Oh. Yeah, why not? Ugh. That's twice we've had to just leave him behind like that after just beating his fucking face in. Where the hell are we going? What is this? Yes, she's going to try. He's 
not moving. Keep going. Yeah, yeah. I probably should have just stayed there. But I didn't have the, like, the ability or the health left to be able to do that. Come on. Right. Okay. The hell am I looking at? Okay, we know where they're at. What does that do us? Oh, close. Nice. It's, I think? Yeah, might as well check it out, right? For an investigative mode here. Well, we know that that's Georgie's blood. Holy shit. Yeah, he got stabbed, dude. I can't walk any further that way. I guess we're just going in. <laughs> they couldn't even lock the door behind them, knowing that I was right on their ass. And they had nowhere else to go other than put it in pie. Like, that's really where they're ending up. See what the trophy is this time. My house of straw. Come on, we can't stay here. No shit. <sighs> but Hang on. we're not going to deal with that minute. right now, okay. guys. Because we're going to go ahead and call this episode quits as we sit here and look at How did this happen, uh, How did it Wow, get Morgana oh. and uh, Roadhard woke up or put up wet. Oh, that's ridiculous. But uh, let's go ahead and call this episode quits, streets. guys. Again, this is Dominic with Silver Screen Review, and thanks for well, watching the fault. first part of the final episode of The Wolf Among Us. If you guys like it, leave a like down below. Helps the channel grow. All that good stuff. If you need comments, criticisms, suggestions, critiques, let me know. I'd love to hear from you guys. Otherwise, have a good night, and I will see you in the next part.